I think the five head best possible thing here is probably the Alistar kick that I talked about, where kick, R flash knock up, knock up this uh, talent and then kill the talent, because then yeah. all your teammates are free now. Because not only are you doing the job of being a, a disengage, but but uh, you're also getting a pick there and bursting someone, and you're fixing the positioning for all your teammates. So it's like an incredible effective play. You're doing everything. Yeah. Hey, Star Peoples. It's Curry, and this is a clip from my lesson with Joang on my stream talking about how to be useful in team fights. If you want to see the whole lesson, click the card at the top, and I will put it in the first comment, the pinned comment on the video. Please let me know whether you like the video. Leave me a comment. Tell me what's up. Tell me what you want me to do next, and I'll see you next time. There's a lot of options here. Star <laughs> yeah. But that's why if you're good at them. So, so that's why if you're good at them, you like God. So I I think the best possible thing, I think the five head best possible thing here, is probably the Alistar kick that I talked about, where kick, R flash knock knock up this uh, talent and then kill the talent, because then yeah. all your teammates are free now. Because not only are you doing the job of being a, a disengage, but but and uh, you're also getting a pick there and bursting someone and you're fixing the positioning for all your teammates. So it's like an incredible effective play. You're doing everything. Yeah. Like your R your R is really that powerful. I will say that almost just as powerful would be set ultimate to reposition the team fight. Right? Yeah. And cuz he could he could just yoink the Alistar on top of the Ash mm -hmm. and then E Clap them together, and we all just yeah. In which case, you talent. he puts himself in a bad position, but then you guys have like a three v two for a little while. Yeah. Yeah. So he again, if he has, if he understands his archetype and what his job is, especially as support set, then he might understand that that would be the best play. Yeah. So again, I think this is like a great steal, right? Because we're there's so many different options in this one moment. Yeah. So kick this person, yeah. flash, kick this person. And just try to burst them. Kick this person, flash, and then land your Q on the on the ash. If you were assassin mode, like really fed here, you could you can kill both these people right now. Um, yeah. Wait for Sidrani, alt her away. Just alt this person away. You just use double E, and then do as much damage to Talon while you're kiting backwards. Flash past Talon R Q Q the this person. Yeah. I wonder auto, if there's something more auto. fancy. Oh, something more like. A, Let's say you couldn't burst this person down. Oh my god, this is super fancy too. Flash, alt this, alt the ash, cue the talent back, and so you all end up here, and, ta and she ends up over here. That'd be really cool too. Like, let's say you weren't strong enough to burst her, right? Like, let's say this was like rise to where it's harder. Yeah, you could actually remove her from the fight and then get your ass back into the fight with queuing onto someone over here. Yeah, and then just like. So actually, in that case, you could do what you thought about before. You can Q, Flash, R, Q. That'd be sick. <laughs> um, I don't think it's better than the normal fancy play, but that's a really fancy, really insanely good play based on line of scrimmage, right? It's not as, yeah. it's not as good as the Sonata thing, because this one you can actually just straight up kill them. But if this was an even fight, that other play actually might become the best one. Yeah. And that's where me getting more comfortable on my mechanics is definitely... Yeah, now, but you see what I mean? There are definitely, like, really high, incredible play level plays you can do with Lee Sin, but there are still, like, decent, normal uh, options you can Not do. God tier mechanic. Yeah, exactly. Plays so, still after all that talking and all those different options, let's see what actually happens. <laughs> I, think, I think I end up kicking Alistar into... Oh, wait. What did I do? Yep, that is exactly what I did. You kicked... This now your your team's positioning is okay, but their team's position is even better because they're doing literally yeah. exactly what they want to be doing. Yeah, I think and now you're starting to run out of options because once your ultimate is down, like right now the only thing you can do is like Q and slow down the talent, I guess. So you your opportunity in this fight is is kind of over. Like you're not that big of a factor at this very moment anymore. Yeah. And yeah. Right now, you're just trying to run away. You literally queued the tank with 50% damage reduction. That's the support player. 
because you're, you're afraid because you're getting hurt uh, and you're trying to get away, right? Yeah. Now, with shows lack of – what's the word? Confidence? No, no. Like, if you had understood that you're going to be in a bad position after that kick, you would have – you could have just QR'd in the first place and got out of there and not taken this damage, right? Yeah. So you didn't, you weren't able to like see ahead to thinking about. You're not a tank. You, you cannot stand in front of six kill Ash and Talon the assassin. So you had to understand that you can't be here, right? Yeah. And so you put a position. You put Alice on a position that he could be in, and you put yourself in a position you couldn't be in. Whereas, again, that play is like okay. It's definitely not great. Um, if you if you QR so that you at least go back to where your teammates are, right? Yeah. And I then you kind of just kind of reset the fight during, a little bit. I think during that, my idea was like, okay, Kaisa on top of me. I'm gonna kick Alistar to get him away from Kaisa, and then Kaisa flashed to where I ended up kicking Alistar to anyways. Mhm. Mm now, I want to keep going because I think. It's interesting to talk about. Even after altering this Alistar, QQing to him was fine. But you could also still have tried to done some amount of burst with something like Flash, e, QE, this guy. You probably don't kill him. And like, but th there is a way for you to at least do your job he more. He yeah. can't. Yeah, because then he couldn't go back in. Also, I think it's worth noting that if you think about all the champions on your team and, you're, and you have archetypes down in your mind, yeah, do you see how important archetypes are, man? I I try to explain to people like the whole, the reason I can even decipher this fight is literally just archetypes. Like because I broke down the game in a way to understand like what people's jobs are, I see all this. Yeah, it's so hard for me to explain how important it is to have this kind of thought process, but it's incredibly important. It's literally what enables me to do what I'm doing for you. Yeah. So if you haven't worked on that sheet I gave you, you need to. You need to be fast at doing this. Especially whatever champions you're going to be playing. Which is the whole part of if you listen to my champion advice. We're going to build you towards an archetype. And eventually, when all your champions are the same archetype, you r improve very rapidly at seeing the game in that way. Right? Okay, so let me just show you... Without any fancy mechanics, I think the best thing to do right there would have just been kick Talon away. Just kick him into the Sejuani. Yeah, yeah. Just kicking, yeah, just kicking one of like these people the, away would have been fine. Yeah, that would have been like the... the and then probably flashing away best, if, if you're yeah, really worried the, about the it. Best, the best of the not great options. Yeah. Also, did you see? I actually think it, it might literally be a root. I, I noticed it said root whenever you alted. I just know it acts as a root. I'm not, I'm not, I, didn't, I didn't know if it was a, a literal root in the game. But he got rooted, and I think you're the only thing that could have possibly rooted him. Right. Rooted. You see it? Yep. Yep. Yeah, with the little timer above him. Yep. So it roots and then airborne. Yeah, that's why you could R flash on Lee Sin. Cause, or else people would move while you're Ring, and your kicks would get messed up every single time. <laughs> <laughs> right? 